everyone, it's Nikki Luther here in Palm Coast, Florida. Today I wanted to talk to you about when you are going to see a house, how many houses is too many houses? Now, I've had someone tell me that they were looking on one of those like HGTV shows and a realtor said to them, look, I'm not showing you anymore, you need to pick already. Well, I agree and I don't agree with that statement. It's because the more houses that you look at, the more confused you're going to get. What you should do is have your realtor pick out a big list for you. Um, normally what I do is I send out a big list. It has additional photos. It has everything that you can see. And then pick the ones out of there that you want to see. You don't necessarily have to go to every single house that's on that list. You want to pick out like the pretty penny. You want to pick the best ones out of... Um, your price range, also what you are looking for. A lot of people have deal breakers, like it has to have a garden tub, it has to have four bedrooms, whatever it may be. But I don't think that realtor was being rude, saying, you know, I'm not showing you any more houses. I'm pretty sure that from a professional aspect that she was probably saying, you know, you're getting confused. You've already forgotten all the houses we've looked at. Um, you're getting overwhelmed. You've seen too many kitchens, too many bathrooms. You don't know what you're looking for anymore. And that would make you start all the way back from square one. So she's kind of looking out for the both you and for her as well. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of advice when you're looking for a home. Um, any of my clients, I send you a long list and you can pick from the ones that you want to see. Showing houses in Florida or in Palm Coast where we are is a little bit different than other places. Um, we have a lot of vacant homes here. So most of the time I show um, houses that are empty, move-in ready, because that's the, the fastest way to get in, the fastest way to close, and the cleanest thing. But when I do show other houses that are owner-occupied or tenant-occupied, they usually um, aren't the first choice of people. So I pick out the pretty penny, as I call it, and I'll show everyone, you know, the top five, the top ten, the top fifteen houses, and have you choose from them. But if you're looking at like fifty to a hundred houses, I don't, I don't think that's such a great idea. Because how are you even going to remember? Oh, I really like the one on that road or this street or that circle. You really just have to keep what you want in your mind, break it down with your price, what you like, um, the neighborhoods that you like, and pick a house. Make it feel like home. You have to picture it as your home, not just, oh, I want to just see as many houses as I can. I mean, you can do that if your realtor lets you do that, but <laughs> from my opinion, I think that um, showing houses is, yes, it's fun, but you do have to eventually choose a house, one, not 15. <laughs> So if you have any questions or you disagree with me, how many houses do you think you should be able to see? Comment below. Let me know. Have a good day.